Welcome to Kitchen Counseling. You've got Chef Tom here, and I got a special, special recipe for you today and a little bit of an announcement. So, today's recipe is going to be a rosemary lemon cashew um, snack. That's basically we're, we're warming up some cashews, we're going to add some rosemary and lemon uh, to them, and we're going to make this really awesome snack that you could take to parties or whatnot. So, um, I've actually done this many, many times and taken them to parties, and they've kind of gone over so well that everybody's saying they love Tom's Nuts and they want some of Tom's Nuts. So with that in mind, we have started talks with some folks that maybe help us, will help us produce this. So if that's something that you might be interested in purchasing down the road or whatever, send us a comment on, if you're watching us on Facebook, choose a comment on the Facebook page uh, or on YouTube, or send me an email at yoursoulpath at gmail.com come and uh, we're just gonna see what our interest level is on this so let's go ahead and run through this recipe real quick um, the first step we got we're gonna take some uh, raw cashews okay so let me give you let me just let me give you the recipe because it's actually super super simple um, we have one pound of raw cashews we have two tablespoons of an extra virgin olive oil we got three about three sprigs of a fresh rosemary and we just remove the leaves from the stem uh, we have one uh, lemon zest. So I've zested one lemon. Um, and then we're going to use four drops of a rosemary uh, essential oil and two drops of a lemon essential oil to accentuate this. So for my essential oil fans, this one is awesome. Some of you know this. You've had this. You've tried it. Uh, it's, it's a great recipe. Uh, so let's keep on going down that path. And then we're going to finish it off with some either kosher salt or pink Himalayan salt, whichever you have just for because uh, you're getting the you're getting raw cashews so you're not you're going to need to add a little bit of salt to them also you want all the other stuff to kind of stick to it so uh, our first step is we're going to preheat the oven to 375 degrees all right and we're going to spin you down here so we have our raw raw we have raw now this is not a pound this is all i had i had about five ounces of uh, raw cashews here so what you can do if you want to skip this step is you can buy roasted unsalted cashews at the market you can find those sometimes a lot easier than you can the raw but i like using the raw and i like doing this step and keeping it really super fresh um, but you can uh, skip this first couple steps with the oven and um, the roasting of the by just buying already roasted cashews, but make sure they're unsalted uh, because you want to you want to make sure you are putting the salt on and that you get it just the right. If you buy it already salt, it's going to be too salty, too much. So we're going to go ahead and stick this in the oven right now, 375 degrees. And set my timer here. We only need to cook these. We only need to roast them for about six to eight minutes. Um, we're just basically, you're giving a, a, a light roast to them, light golden brown. You don't want to burn them and you got to be careful watching. So we're going to keep an eye on that. And then once they come out, we will go on to the next step. So like I said, if you want to skip this step, buy the ones already roasted in the store, unsalted roasted ones. And then when we come back, that's where you'll start this recipe. Um, with the rest of it, putting all the flavors together. Okay, so we'll be back in a few minutes. See ya. All right, we're back. It's six minutes later. We only roasted these for like six minutes. Like I said, it was six to eight minutes. You just want a light toast on the golden brown. You don't want to start them getting too brown. So let me show you what we got here. So we pulled those out of the oven now. So we've got our lightly toasted cashews ready to go. And let's go ahead and Get you over on this side now our next step now if you bought the the roasted ones already and you didn't have to this is where you're going to start and this is where it's just so fast you can put this together in just a few minutes and you got a party you got a party snack all right so what we're doing here i'm going to go so we're just going to show you the process that's all there is to this one it's super quick very nice and easy we got two tablespoons of an extra virgin olive oil in there we've got it warming up we're going to throw in our rosemary. We just got the leaves, taking them off the stems. And we have the zest from one lemon. I had this turned up on high. I've turned it down now to like a medium heat. We just want to cook this long enough to where you can start smelling it. All right. We 
just want it to start to smell. Now it's already starting to smell. That's how fast this is, okay? We're not trying to like saute this to heck and all that. We just want to uh, unleash it, right? Just doing that light, light saute on the uh, lemon and on the rosemary. You don't really cook it, but you just open it up, all right? That's what we're doing. We're just kind of opening it up. We don't want to use up all the oil in there because we're going to need that next as we throw all of the cashews in. All right, so we just wanted to start getting that flavor on there. And then we're going to turn it off. That's it. It was just a, like a minute or two, okay? We had the oil, rosemary, lemon zest in the skillet. Starts to smell good. Add the cashews and stir them, okay? So now we're going to add our cashews to it. Don't need no heat any anymore. So we're going to add, those are all our roasted ones we bought at the store. going to add the few that we roasted up here. So we have about a pound. Just about a pound of the cashews. And just stir it up just to kind of start coating all that olive oil around. See now starting to you can see how it's starting to get coated and then you, you get to actually just start seeing that. And that's what we're gonna need to put the salt and stuff on. But before we finish and do that, I usually make myself now I don't have the heat on, we don't have it on the heat. And we're gonna put our four drops of rosemary uh, essential oil in the center. and two drops of lemon essential oil. Why do I put in the center? This is very, very concentrated, and I want to be able to stir it around just a little bit, kind of coat the bottom of the center of that pan, and then work my nuts through there so they all get that flavor. step we add a little I got some kosher salt here and that's just gonna be the taste some folks like a lot some people don't like that a lot that's all up to you that salt is necessary to have a little bit of that salt in there to make this all come together and that is our rosemary and lemon cashews so let's take a little taste be careful because the, the um, cashews are going to be, they were heated. The ones you roasted anyway were heated for like 60 minutes or so. So they're hot all the way into the meat of that cashew. So they can actually be super hot when you grab one of those. Now, if you buy them in the can already done, you didn't, you didn't have this on the heat long enough to where it was. But the slight saute of the rosemary opens it up. Rosemary is a very strong, strong herb. What I like, this this actually tames it a little bit. You still get that really ro great rosemary flavor, but it's not quite as um, sharp for me. Rosemary can be very sharp. The lemon, the lemon zest. Now, I'm lucky I have a Meyer lemon uh, tree out in the backyard where I'm staying right now. So I was able just to pull that off and grab us a lemon. Just get yourself a lemon. You want one lemon zest. Then you're going to add those essential oils. The essential oils... Now, as with any ingredient, when you're cooking, you want quality ingredients. Now, I'm going to be straight up honest with you. These essential oils are the ones, only ones I will use. They are Young Living. And the reason is, is I've been to their farms, and I know how they process it, and I know what they do. I can trust the quality of that ingredient in my cooking. Same thing when you start buying meats and you start buying veggies, you start doing you want to know where it's coming from. And the more research I do on all these different things, it's very, very important that you know where that stuff's coming from and how it's raised and how it's done. I mean, how it's harvested, everything. So that goes for all ingredients. 
but for my essential oil friends, that's what I'm using. I'm using Young Living Essential Oils. I'm using the rosemary and the lemon. It adds to the rosemary and lemon that we already put in here. It just gives it an extra pop. It's awesome. Everybody that tries this, this is ready to go to the party now. They'll be like, oh my God, these are so good. And it's the combination of the real herb and the essential oil together that actually makes this really good. Mm. They're very addicting. Love them. Mm. I'm going to take this one right now. I'm going to be eating this up too. So again, this one has been... Um, Kind of a go-to for me for a lot of parties because it's really fast if you already buy the cash she's already done you can whip this up in five minutes and you can throw it into a little container and take it to your party and you got something people go wow that is awesome super easy and super fast and it's super tasty now because of this like i said earlier there, we are talking to folks right now that might help us actually start to make these and distribute them so if anybody is interested or has any kind of inkling that that might be something they'd be interested in give, give me a shout because i'm looking to see if this is something that's worth doing and putting this out there and selling the product as tom's nuts so let me know and i would appreciate your feedback on that until next time remember my 4s family friends fun and food to accentuate life. We'll see you on down the road. See ya.